Commanders, welcome back. Today we will talk about my combat build for the Viper Mark III, highlighting its strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to combat in Elite Dangerous, players face specific challenges that require well equipped ship. Whether you are attacking on pirates, engaging in PvP battles, or defending against threats, having the right build can make all the difference. First we will start with my combat build for the Viper and later we will talk about its strengths and weaknesses. Now let's start with the hard points. The Viper is equipped with two class 1 hard points in front of the cockpit on the upper surface and two class 2 hard points on the underside of the ship with one on each side of the cargo scoop. Here I have installed two 1G pulse lasers, one 2 multi cannon and one 2B railgun. I use my lasers and the multi cannon to disable the enemy's shields and then I use the railgun to tear apart its hull. Alright commanders, let's move on to the utility mounts. Here we have two slots equipped with chaff launcher for protection against gimbal and turreted weapons and the shield booster. Next we have the core internal. Here almost everything is A rated 1A military grade composite, 3A power plant, 3C thrusters, 3A frameship drive for better jump range, 2A life support with 25 minutes emergency life support. If you are heavily damaged, that is enough time to get to the nearest station for repairs and get back to the to combat. 3A power distributor and I put 3D sensors because are little lighter. Next, let's move to the optional internals. Here we have installed 3A shield generator. We have two 3D hull reinforcement packages, one 2D hull reinforcement package and two 1D module reinforcement packages. All these modules combined makes the Viper Mark III a hard nut to crack. Now let's talk about the Viper Mark III pros and cons. The Viper Mark II is a fast, agile, small target. It is affordable to purchase and equip, and boosts the excellent shields for a ship of its class. The drawbacks of the Viper Mark III include smaller power plant, resulting in less outfitting, flexibility, limited versatility, mainly suited for combat roles, disappointing jumping capabilities this less significant as the ship is intended for operation in nearby systems. The Viper Mark III shines in combat thanks to its exceptional agility, speed and firepower. Its nimble maneuverability allows you to outmaneuver larger ships, while its impressive speed lets you dictate the pace of engagement. And when it comes to firepower, the Viper Mark III packs a punch that can take down even the toughest opponents. In conclusion, a well-designed combat build for the Viper Mark III is essential for enchanting your gameplay experiences in Elite Dangerous. By optimizing your ship's loadout and maximizing its combat potential, you can take on any challenge that comes your way with confidence. So commanders, are you ready to take your combat skills to the next level with the Viper Mark III? Try out this build we discussed today, share your experiences in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more Elite Dangerous content. Until next time, fly safe out there in the vast reaches of space.